देखिए डिलेन इट्स वर्किंग लेस्ट एज दिस Do we have lift off? No. Nope. No. Never. It looks like it's trying though. Yeah, it's vibrating. Let's turn it off. All right, we'll turn it off. Yeah. Good. Okay. Okay, so let's get Move closer. Move it a little bit lower. Yeah, we're going to put the Go ahead. Go closer. Okay. So, yeah. we're half an inch off the surface of the aluminum now. So, if we wanted to, we could drop that a little bit more to hopefully get more repelling force. But we will lose RPMs as we go down because the closer they get the more powerful the eddy currents become. So we have to find that balance right now. Hey guys. Hey. What are you working on? So we added more motors. We tested at 5 and 1/2 inches. Half an inch. Half an inch <laughs> off the ground. Okay. It didn't work. It was smooth. Nothing sounded angry. So you've been working on the app, right? Yeah. How's it going? Yeah, it's working. We we can it control is? the whole board. Do you want to control it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Make sure your fingers are on there. Let me turn it on. One of the biggest changes we've made that has made this a lot safer is that we've changed our turning on and off mechanism from somebody actually having to be right on the board doing it to on your phone just turning it on and off. Oh, when we put the feet on, we were at half an inch. We're at half an inch oh, now again. We didn't again. account for putting those things done. <laughs> so this is actually half an inch right here. We were actually higher than we thought. Yeah. Okay. So we started off with the goal of can we make a board hover slash can we get a person on the hover yeah. board? Second part. No. But cross that one out. That's okay because I mean I think we're gonna be able to make this actually hover, which is gonna be really cool. So what we actually did is this whole box. Uh huh. Everything is on the bottom. We just added a layer that will kind of like cover everything up, so it looks a little nicer. Oh, it looks nicer. Yeah. So just the the Wi-Fi stuff is on the top. You're still ugly on the inside. Yes. <laughs> so walk me through a couple scenarios of what could happen when we turn this on. Most likely, it starts spinning and yeah. nothing happens. Yeah. Second most likely, I guess that it does hover and works oh, works yeah. very well. So I think between option 1 and option 2 it's like 50-50. Is everybody ready? 3, Three two, 2 1 Take Are they all spinning? Yeah. Yeah, they're all spinning. All right, go ahead and take it off. The blue one looks like turn it's off. wobbling. Turn it off? Yeah, off, turn it off. Yeah. It's no, still not off the stands. Yeah. You'll have we to push it a little lower, yeah. We gotta go lower, lower. We're just gonna keep testing it. If it doesn't hover, go lower. If it doesn't hover, go lower until we're like on the ground. And if that doesn't work, our complete last ditch effort is to take this to 48 volts. No, you want to go boom? Go boom. If you really want to kill this thing, I'll take it to 48 and blow it. Hey, that's last ditch effort. Let's do it. I I'm down for it now. Hey guys, idea just came up. At 36, yeah. holding it up, letting it get up to speed. Yeah, that's what I was saying, but well, he doesn't want to take it. Taking out the the feet, letting it get up to speed, far yeah. away, and uh, then trying to get it to hover, like even for a second. Yeah, like I feel like that's half the thing is because they're starting low. Now we can't get that initial RPM to get us up. We need that initial start to get okay. that torque going. I feel like someone would have to hold it. I mean, I'm fine with holding this yeah, one. Yeah, me too. Like, this one is like completely safe at 36. I'll go safe. round two. You feel safer? Yeah, I feel safer on okay. this one. This is a desperation attempt hey, here. If you guys end up not feeling comfortable, we'll slide this under you. Okay. Underneath the That's board. Good. So we'll just slide it right underneath it and then we'll just stop it. I'll help you over here in the safety area. This is the safe board. We're not at 48. We're like confident that we're not going to explode. Hands clear, hands, hands clear. clear. <laughs> cool. Three, two, one. All right, All right go down. Go down. Whoa, that's a magnet. Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Okay, I, 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 I did, I did, I did. I did, you gotta put it down. Lower, let, lower. It, let the magnets uh, slow down. On oh, it's hella hovering right now, though. It was like this far from my leg. Flip it. Flip it. Which one did we Which lose? One? Oh, that one. Okay, yeah, that one wasn't secured with glue. Why wasn't it secured with glue? It, it was, was it just it broke was. the glue. It was hella hovering right there. <laughs> hella. I'm turning it on. That's Go gonna be it. a lot of RPM. Three, two, one. Oh! It did. It Wait, AJ, did. let your side oh. go down. Let your side go down. It's, nope. it's, it's so close. It's, it's so close. Like, like, it's hovering. It's hovering. Oh, it was it hovering. 
It was hard. It was It was doing it. It was doing it. It definitely just did it. It totally just did it. So yeah, we started up pretty far away. Gets up, gets really fast. It's still nice and smooth at that high level. And that's like the speed we need down there. So as we bring it down, it gets slower and slower. So if we do it fast enough, you know, it'll get that like bounce and stay there and then drop. I'm still gonna call it a success because that disc did hover. And that was at 36 volts. And now it's getting wired up to uh, 48 volts. Who's gonna stay here for Not the 48? Me. I can't raise my hand. <laughs> software, he doesn't count. <laughs> All right, here we go guys. Okay. Three, two, one. Hey, that's not off. It's still spinning. It's still off. Oh. I don't think it's hey, off yet. Turn it off. It's off. It's it's the manually off from there. Yeah, it's smoking. Woo! I'm happy. I'm like, I'm just, I am overjoyed at how that went. Nabiji, what do you think of 48? It definitely didn't work out the way we wanted to. But it didn't do anything. Do you feel that adding 12 more volts gave it a little more lift? Yeah, it definitely made it hover. Hey guys, I got a surprise! Oh, is it pizza? She is pizza! <laughs> so I wanted to thank you guys for working so hard and doing such an incredible job. So come on, let's enjoy. What would you do different? I would definitely calculate everything first. Like the motor was a big concern this time too. Like we tried so many motors, different motors. We started out with these little blue motors that we were only really basing off of the RPMs that they could get up to. And once we started spinning it up, we're like, oh no, the torque is non-existent. Like as soon as we get this anywhere near this aluminum, it just slows down to a stop. So we had to go and upgrade to a much larger model, but we still need more power. We still need to kick it a little bit harder. These ended up working really well. They were retaining themselves. They stood up to 48 volts, even though we said, hmm, that's a little stretchy. The most important thing that changed from 1.0 to 2.0 is that this is a 20% fill. If it's zero, it's hollow. If it's 100, it's solid through and through. This being 20, leaves it in a place where the inside of this disc kind of looks like a lattice. So it's like, you know, pillars in a room. It's not completely, you know, stable, but there is something to keep it from just falling in. I have to give James some of the credit for that. He came up with that idea and he helped put that together. But ultimately the second disc, just a lot sturdier, a lot more reliable. This was a very big success. Uh, I couldn't be any more happier. I mean, I saw it work at 36 volts and then I saw it die at 48 volts. We had two months to do this. We had a lot of obstacles coming our way and we were able to overcome it and prove our idea. We did get something to hover. If anything, that's phase one. To really make an actual hoverboard, it's a lot harder than people thought when it came to just having something hover. Because there were so many factors. And learning all that, I think it was a pretty good success. I would 100% say we were successful. Not in the way that we expected, but we definitely got this board to hover off the ground, even if we just could let go of it for a second. We've proven that you can do it on your own. And so that's what we set out to do with that new goal in mind. And we accomplished that. So when we originally started with this project, we knew that we wanted to make a hoverboard. We obviously wanted it to hover and we wanted to have someone be able to stand on it. And as we started creating it, we found all kinds of new challenges and it was kind of all like trial and error over and over and over. And we learned from our mistakes and I think it went really well. Three, two, one, hoverboard! Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on that little bell so you get all the notifications. And if you want to check out what we've done in the past, check out all these videos over here. You can see past episodes. It's called binge viewing. Do it.